Hey everybody and welcome to Quick Tips. This is Greg Bosson and I'm speaking to you from high atop the QuickBooks land. Um, anyway, uh, this is Quick Tips for May of 2000. I don't know what that meant, but whatever. Uh, I, uh, this is uh, May of 2013's Quick Tip. And you know, we're heading into summer and so... Who wants to work? I don't. Uh, I say we all go on vacation. So anyway, I decided to make this tip really small. So this will only take a few minutes, real tiny little tip here, but I think it's going to help a lot of you. It has to do with when you're entering uh, transactions, and I'm going to use a check window, and you accidentally record the transaction. In other words, you save it before you were finished entering it. Um, I'm going to explain to you why that problem occurs, and it does for a lot of people, uh, and then how you can keep that problem from happening. So let me just explain to you how that can occur, accidentally recording a transaction before you're finished entering it. Uh, so let's say uh, we're writing a check here to Slackerman Security Systems, and this is true for all the transaction windows, by the way. I'm just using the right checks window as an example. So uh, I'm going to say it's $38.50 a month for my little security system here. I'll put it to Equipment Rental. Uh, and let's say uh, I want to put a memo, okay? Or maybe I want to point it to a job. Maybe I'm a construction contractor. I want to point it to a job. Or maybe uh, I want to point it to a class. Maybe I'm a nonprofit. I want to point it to different uh, different departments or different programs or what have you. Or maybe I'm none of those. Maybe I'm just a regular business, but I want to put a memo. A lot of us that have been in the computer world for a while are used to pressing the enter button on our keyboard to move to the next field. So here I am in the amount field. Let's say I want to go to the memo field and just instinctively I press the enter button on my keyboard. Well when I press the enter button on my keyboard thinking I'm going to go to the next field instead whoops the transaction is recorded before I was finished. All right, so that's the problem because if I wasn't really finished, then I got to push the find here and try and go back and see if I can find where the transaction was uh, so that I can fix it. Boy, where is the transaction? I don't know where it is. But anyway, so that's the problem uh, that I am talking about. So let me get out of here. So this is the deal QuickBooks has all these little features. They're called preferences, and you can turn them on or off in the program. Uh, I think we've covered this earlier, but in case you don't know, your preferences, for most of you, are in the Edit menu. So we go to Edit, and you'll see Preferences. Now, uh, again, preferences are little features you can turn off in the program. There's so many of them that they're broken up into different categories. I'm looking at the checking preferences now because this says checking, and there's the preferences on the right. Uh, if I click on accounting, I'll get to some accounting preferences. Most of the accounting ones are in the company tab over here. Um, if I go to general, though, uh, and go to the my preferences tab, I want to point out a little preference here, right here. Pressing enter moves between fields. This preference is turned off right now, and it usually is turned off for uh, people that have gotten the QuickBooks program. So if this is turned off, guess what happens if you press enter on your keyboard? It automatically records the transaction. Well, if you're the kind that is used to pressing the enter on your keyboard to move between fields, then you want to check the box to turn on the preference. When you do that, then instead of it recording the transaction, it's going to move to the next field. So I'll turn that preference on there. And then I'm going to go into the right checks window and wait for it to open here. I'm going to enter the same vendor here, Slackerman Security. And, but all I got to do when I press enter, instead of recording the transaction, it's going to move to the next field. I know you can't see me, but I promise you I'm pressing enter on the keyboard. I'm in the, uh, in the number field. I press enter. Now I'm in the address field. I press enter. Now I'm in the bottom of the address field. Uh, now I'm in the memo field. Uh, now I'm in the account field. So I'll do equipment rental here. And uh, $38.50. And now I'm in the memo field. And I'll go ahead and point it to a program here. Uh, I'll point it to, I don't know, administrative. You, you may not use classes. I'm just trying to do an example. 
Uh, and then when I'm ready to actually enter it, uh, the thing, I guess the downside of having this feature uh, turned on is that I can't press the enter button to record the transaction. So either I have to use my mouse or uh, if you have uh, been looking at these little videos here that happen each month, last month uh, we did a little keyboard shortcut uh, video and we talked about a lot of the keyboard shortcuts in QuickBooks. So we did that for April of 2013. But uh, so what I can do here is you see the little line under the A? We did this last month. But you could press Alt and the A button and it'll save the transaction. All right. So that's it. Remember. Edit, Preferences, General, Pressing Enter moves between fields. If this is checked, that means when you press Enter on your keyboard, it'll move to the next field. If it's not checked, it's going to record the transaction. And I'll go ahead and leave it checked. And I think we're done.